Hey guys, I'm in today we're going to do a little tutorial. Now you guys have asked me to do this, so you ask, you shall receive. Uh, I'm just going to do like the basics, the utmost basics of world edit, because I I know a decent amount enough to, you know, give it a tutorial. <laughs> so these are the commands that I'm going to be uh, explaining to you guys on what I do, how to use them, and you know, all that kind of stuff. So let's start off with the very first one. Now this is the very, very basic tool tool command that you need. So you do slash slash wand. You can you can just get out a wooden axe from your inventory because the tool bind actually is set to a wooden axe. Yeah, you can just bring out a wooden axe from your inventory and it works like that as well. So you don't have to do slash slash wand. This tool is literally what you use to do every, well not every um, world edit uh, command and stuff, but it's what you need to do most things. This tool allows you to select regions. So if you right click on a block that you're looking at and also left click, well, I did that the wrong way around, but <laughs> so uh, left click is your first placement and right click is your second. So that sets a region. Now that you've got that region, you can do whatever you want with it. So for instance, set 35, 35, 7, that was a random number. <laughs> eh, eh. Bink. Right. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, every single block in that region, so it's, it would just be that, that level, because I only selected these, those two corners. Everything in that region will have changed that for that block. One thing that you will find really helpful when using World Edit is to learn item IDs. So here is a, a good link for um, finding out what um, block IDs there are in Minecraft. I said item IDs before, but hey, it's actually block IDs. For instance, I just did um, 35.6, which is uh, pink wall. So that is a really helpful thing to do because otherwise you're just going to be typing uh, let's do set wall blue I, just, I don't know what it is uh, set set sand so you're just going to literally be, be typing out um, the actual IDs for it every time and it's just easier to learn numbers to be honest that's a, that's a tip from me. Learn item IDs. So another thing that you can do, which you don't have to use the tool for, is actually um, doing pause one, which sets a position wherever your feet are. Remember that. It's not like the top of your head. It's where the bottom of your feet are. That is where uh, that is set. And then you can do pause two for the second position and then do and let's say set this is my yes my favorite block <laughs> that also sets the region as well so you don't have to use the the tool for every position setting that you do um you can do it through slash slash pause oh remote getaway <laughs> i'm sorry i love that um block I had to use it. So the next thing that we can do is slash slash decel, which will clear the selection that you've just um, selected. So no more can I do, um, I, can, I can't do that anymore because I've deselected the region. So that's just a, a, a nifty command that you can learn. And obviously I've, I've used it already, but um, just get the region back to set a region to a certain block you do slash slash set and then the block id i'll just use two for this one and you just get a lot of grass so yeah if you want to set the region to a specific block just do slash slash set and then your block id or whatever you want if you don't want to use block ids and that's perfectly fine i just find it easier myself so you could get really um complicated with this and do slash slash set 33 percent let's do Two comma thirty three percent and thirteen comma thirty three percent sixty three and then do it 
Oh, <laughs> you got a lot of gravel and signs. But hey, <laughs> just random numbers. Uh, so if you do, if you do uh, slash slash set with uh, percentages with commas, don't forget your commas because otherwise it won't work. Then you can get uh, multiple blocks in that region. Okay, so I've just made a little square here, and I want to um, change the the wall into a different color wall. How would I go about doing that? Well, I would first select the region, which I've already done. And then I would do slash slash replace 35, which is the normal block ID for wall. And then 35, let's say I want it yellow. So that would be 35 colon 4. So now that's just replaced the, uh, the wall to a, a nicer color wall. I mean... It doesn't like yellow. So that is how you do slash slash replace. It's pretty simple. Again, you could do the exact same thing as what I just did with the setting. You could use percentages if you want to add in another block into it. I mean, it's up to you. It depends on what you're building, to be honest. So yeah, that is replace. Okay, so I've just made like a little box here and I want to fill it up with water. So what I'm going to do here is do slash slash fill and then eight which is the block id for um, water and then i'm going to do 10 as a as a radius so the command is slash slash fill eight which is the block id for water and then the radius which i want as 10. so if i just enter that the whole thing fills with water but the thing is with fill uh let's just do fill two and then three fill is only one block high so that isn't very helpful for doing like bigger fills. So if I want to fill up this whole basin with that, say, gravel, fill. And then just before you click space button, you put an R right beside it. So it's slash slash fill R. That R stands for radius. So it's the whole radius around a sphere, if that makes sense. I'm not very good at explaining things. 13 is the ID for gravel. So let's do three. And just to show the whole thing filled up. But just remember when you are using slash slash fill and fill R, you have to be at the top block. So you can see that I'm right here. I'm not down here. I'm up here. And my feet are within that block here. Yeah, I'm not down here. Because if I was, then that would happen. And I'd miss out that top block. I don't want that to happen. I want to be up here. So my feet have to be in the area of that block for this to work. So if I do that, it works and the whole thing is filled. So that is slash slash fill and fill up. So another command that you guys have seen me use already is slash slash undo. So if you are not happy with one of the commands that you've just done, you can do slash slash undo and it will undo the whole thing. Just be careful with things like gravel and water because anything that's fallen um, will mess up. <laughs> Let's just say that. So if you've done like a massive pool of water and you want to get rid of it, there is a chance they would probably mess up. So just a quick thing for undoing some water damage. So if I just do fill our 8, 10 quickly. If you want to get rid of all this water but you it's glitched or something, you can do slash slash drain and then the radius and it will go again. So just a few easy undos right there. But if you want your change to, to come back and you can't be bothered to do the whole command, then you can do slash slash redo and the whole thing will be re redone again. So pretty simple, pretty easy. That's just how you do undos and redos and drains. Okay guys, next up we are going into the copy, cut and paste commands. So these ones are pretty easy to learn. It's nothing too big. So I've got myself a pretty dazzling house right here. I mean, it's got no doors and it's got no windows, but you know, it's made of diamond blocks. It's pretty fancy. So I want to move it over there, but I don't want to break all the blocks and then just rebuild it because that would take too long and I'm lazy. So one thing that I'm going to do I'm going to place one there and then just get the first region block right there because that's the very bottom. That's the very bottom corner that I want to copy. So, and then 
go over here i'm just going to build up a to that block right there and get the second region block i'm just gonna i'm gonna stand in the middle um because we got a middle block which is, makes life so much easier and i'm gonna do slash slash copy now you've got to remember where you've stood because it's going to copy that region from where you've stood so i'm just going to copy i'm going to have two dazzling houses right now and then i'm just going to i'm going to stand on this block so where I stood there, I had the block right in front of me. So if I stand here, the diamond blocks will be right there on that block. And then I'm going to do slash slash paste. See, it's right there. So yeah, when you do copy and cut, which I'll get to in a minute, um, you have to stand, you have to remember where you stand because otherwise it's going to mess up and yeah, it's going to be a bit of a pain. Yeah. That is slash slash copy and paste. So instead of copying it, I want to cut it instead. So um, when I when it means cut, it literally means cut and paste. So I'm going to use the same re uh, region. Go away, please. Right. I'm going to use the same region. I'm going to stand in the middle. Um, same block as when I was before. And I'm going to do slash slash cut this time. When I do this, the whole thing goes. Do it off here. I'm just going to put it over here. And I'm going to stand on this block right here. So the block. The diamond blocks will start right there and do slash slash paste again because it is the same thing and ta-da we have our house just moved a little bit really really easy so another trick that you can do with doing undo going just, just going back to undo again is if you want to do un multiple undos you can do slash slash undo and you put two beside it that's the amount of undos that it's going to do so if i do un undo two it will remove the house from here and put it back to where it was before. So let's just press this. See, it is back. And we've got ops here. Helpful. And the same thing happens with redo as well. So if you do redo two, it will put it back. So it's back there again. So I want to be really, really complicated. I want to move the house and rotate it. You know, I, I'm not happy with the way it's, it's facing right now. So I want it to face that way. So I'm just going to, I think I've still got the regions here. Yeah, so still got the regions. So uh, I'm going to stand here, going to cut. But before I place it, before I place, uh, press paste, I'm going to do slash slash rotate and then 90. Now the 90 is the degrees that you want to rotate it. So 90 is a right angle. So if I do sla uh, slash slash rotate 90, it'll rotate it so it's facing that way. Just remember that when you are doing rotate, it does it in clockwise. If I do stand here, face, it's now facing that way. So as you can see, it's rotated from that angle to that angle, so it's 90 degrees. That's, there you go. Why put 90? Okay, so I've given my, my house a nice little chimney now. I mean, three blocks is hard to place. But I want it on the other side now because I'm just that complicated. You guys know this. I, I do things complicated. So I'm going to get the region. Okay, so that should be everything. That should be the house in the region. So I'm going to do slash slash cut. So I want the chimney on the other side of the house. Just because I'm awkward and, you know, you guys know that already. So <laughs> I'm going to do slash slash flip. Now, flip will mean that the chimney will now be on the other side. But the problem with flip, and this is going to be a bit hard to explain, you have to be looking in a specific direction for it to, to be flipped the way you want it. So if you want it flipped 180, if that makes sense, you have to be looking straight ahead. If you want, want it to be flipped upside down, you've got to be looking down below. But I want it flipped 180. So I'm going to do slash slash flip while looking at the horizon and just paste it in and it will be behind you um but the chimney is on the other side of the house it's still in a different position so it's all good but if i want it on that side of the house just do undo i need to rotate it rotate it as well so rotate it 180 and then paste the chimneys on this side so that is it for today's tutorial i will make more tutorials in the future like brushes and stuff like that i will do that as well 
I'm just going to do the basics in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions about World Edit, I will try my best to answer. I mean, just look at this house. It's beautiful. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.